This video will explain the information about deprescribing anticonvulsants. So you're probably wondering, what is deprescribing? Deprescribing means lowering the dose or stopping a medication that may no longer be helping or may be causing harm. So why do we deprescribe in hemodialysis patients? Hemodialysis patients may take up to 12 medications each day. Also, since many medications are not studied in hemodialysis patients, the benefits and harms are unknown. Hemodialysis patients may also have a harder time getting rid of medications from the body, so patients may experience more side effects. What are anticonvulsants? Anticonvulsants are medications used to treat restless leg syndrome, pain, severe itch, and seizures. Some common examples include pregabalin, also called Lyrica, and gabapentin. Why should you reduce or stop the dose of your anticonvulsants? Taking anticonvulsants long-term in hemodialysis patients can cause increased risk of dizziness leading to falls or accidents, or anticonvulsant misuse, for example, taking more than prescribed or mixing with other medications for pain. So we want to reduce or stop the dose of these medications. How do we do this? Patients who have been taking an anticonvulsant for more than six weeks and do not have a seizure disorder may be considered for the deprescribing trial. Your healthcare team will help decide the best way to reduce or stop your medication. This may include slowly reducing the dose you receive for a few weeks before stopping the medication altogether. There are a few things your healthcare team will monitor for after reducing or stopping your anticonvulsant dose. This includes monitoring for pain, trouble sleeping, itching, restless legs, nausea, and seizures. You may be wondering, what can you do if your symptoms continue after adjusting your medication? Your healthcare team may recommend starting a different medication or returning to a lower anticonvulsant dose. There are also other ways you can manage your symptoms. For severe itch, this includes using a gentle cleanser, for example, Spectrogel, using a cream or lotion, for example, a Vino cream, using a fan or humidifier, wearing light colored clothing to keep cool and using cotton bed sheets, and trimming your fingernails to avoid damaging the skin if scratching. For restless leg syndrome, you can try practicing good sleep hygiene, which includes going to bed at a regular time and avoiding food or exercise two hours before bed, exercise and stretching regularly, such as during dialysis, acupuncture, and finding a distraction when agitated, such as a puzzle. Lastly, for symptoms of pain, you can have your blood sugar well controlled if you are diabetic. You may return to a lower anticonvulsant dose, or you can use a cream called capsaicin up to four times daily. Overall, the goal of deprescribing is to lead to better patient care. Please contact your healthcare team before stopping or changing any medications.